lack of interest in bullion coins, uh, which is shown by the minages at the U.S. Mint. Take Silver Eagles, for example. They've made under eight millions that they've sold this year, and that's the lowest number since 2007. Two years ago, they sold over 36 million. So bullion is down with bullion prices and sales by the U.S. Mint and by coin dealers. Well, I really like gold. Although silver can go up or down very quickly, long term I like gold and we're coming into the months at the end of the year where gold does very well and stocks seem to historically struggle a bit. And gold is easier to store, easier, it's more portable and so for all those reasons I like gold. Well, Uncertainty in world market is generally good for metals. But when the stock market's continually going up and the dollar is very strong, those are negative forces that have impacted the metals market. I think over the next few years, just like people like Goldman Sachs, Commerce Bank, uh, JP Morgan, gold will rise significantly by the end of 2019. Well, spurred by five billionaires coming into the rare coin market, collecting high-end coins. There are billionaires and multimillionaires trying to put together registry sets of PCGS and NGC coins that are finest known or near finest known, along with people who try to put sets together of finest known CAC coins. So the upper end of the market for very high-end coins, and they don't have to be super expensive, a 1951S Booker T. Washington half and PCGS MS67 plus CAC just went for $12,500 but the population by PCGS is only three and O, and it's less than that in CAC certified condition. So upper end market coins are doing very well. <music> coins are fun. I encourage you to see about reading Coin World, going to ANA summer seminars. My first ANA show, World's Fair of Money, was 1972 in New Orleans. And I love coins, and I hope you do too.